I'm drawing a flower. Eight-year-old Lucy O'Brien has endless creativity. I have an idea of one thing that I'm going to draw, and then usually I have other ideas of something else to draw. And out of all her drawings, this is her favorite, a portrait of President Obama, along with a message she wants everyone to see. A hope for the economy. That's what I was focusing on when I said hope. A lot of people don't have a lot of money now. The recession is a big issue for a little girl. But like so many other children, for Lucy, the down economy hits close to home. It's been a tough time. and. Uh, in some ways, I'm a little bit of a poster boy for this economy. Lucy's dad runs a Los Angeles antique gallery, and sales are down 40 percent. He's behind on his mortgage and concerned about the bills. Lucy's mom says the kids have noticed. It's hard as parents to not talk about it so much in front of your kids, which is because it's on our minds so much. So Lucy had a lot on her mind when she drew her picture. A lot of people are struggling and I'm sure they don't want to be struggling. Her picture caught the eye of Larry Hitchcock, his company KidThing.com, along with the National Education Association, organized a nationwide contest for elementary school children like Lucy to submit artwork and letters to President Obama. So how many submissions did you have? Just a little under 5,000. Lucy's handiwork was one of 150 selected to appear in a digital book entitled Dear Mr. President. Kids shared their thoughts on just about everything. Some make you smile. Make it rain candy, make more chocolate factories. I That's, like those ideas. Those are great ideas. <laughs> Many make you think, like this idea from a 10-year-old in New York. The president should start an international summer camp for kids to help countries get along better. Or this letter from a 7-year-old in New Jersey, asking the president which problem he'll solve first, the economy, the war, or global warming. It's a snapshot of everything we as adults are worrying about. All the letters and artwork will eventually make their way to the White House, published in a book, and hand-delivered to the president himself. Lucy was thrilled when she learned that President Obama will actually see her picture. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I hope that Obama thinks that it's a good picture. But even more, she's hoping for a brighter financial future. The economy would be better and everybody would have jobs. A very grown-up wish from one of the president's youngest constituents. Brandon Scott, CBS News, Los Angeles.